how precious that sound to people like us who were lost in the past but have been found through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We were so blind, O oh Father, naked and wretched. But today, by your grace, there's an eye salve on our eyes. And we are wearing the bridal garment, waiting and ready for your coming, Lord. We bless you, Father. We worship you. We adore you. We thank you because we are undeserving. And you've done this wonderful job for us. We worship you so much, Father. Today we say, indeed, Father, come and take over absolutely. Take over our hearts, our souls, our minds, our spirits, our body. Every aspect of us, Father, we dip all in your blood. Amen. Come and take over our conscience, Father, and use us mightily, Father. As we look around, about Paul said the night is far spent and the day is just over. Father, every indication going on in the globe, Iran firing missiles, 300 missiles to Israel, when this conflict escalates, is a testament and indication that indeed your coming is close. Father, oh Lord, therefore, your children, you have told us what to do. At times that day, we should trim our lamps and be sure that our lamps are filled. Our prayer is that, Father, may you fill our lamps with the oil that we need so badly. May you help us, O oh Lord, to trim the lamp, Father, that there will be fire in us 24 hours in a day. That the whole 365 days in a year, Father, we may be on fire because your prophets have warned us not to quench the fire. Help us to be on fire. Help us, O oh Lord, to walk in the revealed word of this age, which is the light of the age. And help us that wherever we go, Father, we may demonstrate not ourselves, but we demonstrate you, Jesus Christ, for Nazareth. Those who are new in our midst, Father, we commit into your hands. As we chew meat, may you help them to understand the meat that we are chewing. And may you open their mind of understanding, for you are the only one who can open their minds of understanding that they may understand and walk in the light of this day. Any spirit of confusion, any spirit of misunderstanding, any spirit of hatred, any spirit, O oh Lord, that will try to ruin whatever we are bringing out here, may your spirit count tight. Amen. For your word is clear in Isaiah 59 that the enemy will come like a flood, but you will raise a standard against it. I commit this church in particular into your hands. It's my prayer, Lord, and it has been my prayer that Father will help us to walk in the light of the apostles. That Father, O oh Lord, the day of Pentecost will be seen in our midst, wherever we find ourselves. That Father will be unique children of yours. O oh Lord, walking as the bride that you are waiting for. May your spirit come, Father. And the bride say, Come, Lord. Come and take us home. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Please be seated. You are welcome to the house of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen has always been the most expensive thing in this church. I went to some church. And the pastor was also shouting like that. What is wrong? Why did they say everybody was looking at his face? I said that the same uh, spirit at original word has catch up with two people. So Christ, if we move, so for no cast, cast will be an kaimin. No, so for say a moon kaimin. No, so hmm. Yeah, yeah, not your original word. If we be an artist, as if we so. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are having continuing with our three days program Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, nah, so, uh, Attendance we during yeah, we 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 weekdays have been extremely poor. Uh, now watching Most of you are turning to Sundarians. As if church service is only on Sundays. I said, The prophet has mandated us. And when we see the signs that we are seeing, you say we should fast and pray. And ask the Lord, Lord, 
what is next. I know times are hard. And many of us are encumbered. But please, this is the time to worship God. If you are waiting for any time to come when you'll be less busy, I'm sorry, it will never come. We are all going to get much more busy. Your yeah? times are going to be extremely hard. Rent is going to go up. Food prices is going to shoot up. Water is going to go up. Electricity will still go up. And you need to know how to look for money. There are going to be life challenges all over the place. And it's going to be much harder now. So look up. And don't stop coming to church to pray. Prayer is the key. So Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, when you have the program, come and pray, please. Restoration to the days of Pentecost. If you look at what is happening in the Middle East, we ran for many years has pronounced that they want to wipe Israel off the map. But they be fighting a proxy war through Hamas and Hezbollah. And they have developed nuclear weapons, atomic bombs, purposely for Israel. And they've been looking for opportunity to strike Israel with um, nuclear weapons. Um, and for the first time in the history of mankind, Iran has fired 300 missiles to Israel. Now we are about about 99% of it destroyed. It's not a political activity, it is a spiritual activity. It's on the prophetic calendar. Because that must happen for Israel to wake up. And Israel will be so angry and yeah. fight a very important war now, where every single land that belongs to Israel will be taken entirely and the, the mosque on the temple mount must be pulled down and Jerusalem should be declared the eternal capital city of Israel Jerusalem so Israel has become a bedding some stone for everybody in the Middle East and the entire world. The prophetic calendar is taken gradually. And when it happens any moment from now like this, and you see the temple mount down, the seven tenders are about to be revealed. And immediately afterwards, Ezekiel 38 39 will take place. And the last moment for the Jewish age. Look up. Look up. Look up. Your redemption is very near. Hallelujah. Amen. You didn't say amen. I said, look up. For your redemption is very near. Amen. You can decide to play church. You can decide to play games. You can decide to continue in your sins. You can decide to do politics and propaganda. But those of us who know the times and the seasons, we are wide awake. 
counting every move in the Middle East. Because Israel is our timepiece. So help me God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. I want to do a small changes in my weekly consultation. So for so I pay. I pass away in society. I cry. I be war. I think I will help us. But most of you come and you sit here for too long, four hours, five hours before you get the opportunity to come in. It's an saying. It be no better now. Be a don't worry. Me and son and nine no man son with me alone. So what I want to do is that on Tuesdays will be. Reserve purposely for those who have challenges you want us to discuss. I don't so let me say it will be talking. The way and they say, a bladano or the better or ama woman who are how on person who are so for a bedding commodity and commodity issues you want advice on. So I did be out here on a foot to issues you don't understand. Church, I want to ask here personal challenges you have and our brabo mu how anything that has to do with prayer. Come on Thursday. Na die bi e fa no pai bo ho de e ya bra ya wada. So on Thursday I'll be standing here. Enti ya wada o be ba bet na ha. Do you understand? What you are here? Thursday is go when I'll be here. I say I will not be there. Ya wada o be ba ha. Anyone who comes there is coming for prayers. Enti obi o be ba bi a o ba be jin pai bo. Amen. Amen. If you come on Tuesday I won't pray for you. Tuesday is for consultation personal challenges. Anything you want to know about ministry about yourself. Whatever it is, you can bring advices, marriage, whatever. But anything concerning prayer, we'll do it on Thursdays. Into your brother, any day, oh, Baha no more. Now, oh, Baha said, there will how be a man, ye be you, person, so for you, the home, come on, yeah, dear, our remo, a jumamu, a brabomu, who bet me a bar, no one watch us, and I'm a strong, and also cry, yeah, mumma, and yes, I'm rick, I cry. Now, yeah, yet to me, Cassache too much. No, be a bet now, bear two hours. Only Papa could to me take it three hours, and carry a phone on bed. Tia mo mo ba mo me yanwini o mo make chiri no so ho na ye twitwa so kakra kakra nti eh ya wada no de eh osofo ba o ba bijina ha nti u ba na ye mpai bo anya nkomo die biem amen ha de ndi nkomo o ten me ni nkomo to ba me ban ma besha nti o ha na ye mpai bo nyi bo ba ye be bo mpai amo amen hallelujah amen i hope it's is clear Amen. So that people will not waste too much time when they come here. Yes, sir. I also need time to pray and then prepare for evening service at times. I want to thank Brother Magla so much. Daddy, God bless you. So, so Daddy, Magla, as we pray, we see the angel point shrano. Last week Sunday, so, he had to take me to a PAD classroom. I said, "Nice, sir. I didn't go school there." You know, he's an agriculturist. Oh no, he's agriculture, ni. And teach me on grafting. Na ochre no, se ni uche du ebi di ashe. There's one more subject matter: cross breeding. Na adia ba kubu ohono mo, mi di adia me pe hybridization. Hybridization. Yes. Enfra fra. So he has to prepare and come and teach me on hybridization very well. Ntio so oba be chire no hybridization. So whatever you saw us demonstrating. Was a class one um, student demonstrating what a PAD graduate has taught him. I see. In today, who you know, PAD is not natural. Class one, you know, so a manager by a character. Amen. Amen. God bless him so much. Amen. That is what I mean. Shout out. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. We will continue with our teachings. I bet why are these things so? I know most of you have questions to ask. But I have decided we'll use about two, three Sundays for questions and answers. Yes, sir. 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 Emo mo no mo dia tuwa se ma ubi ya en enye de de no edua na chesi etimi de enwa yesa. Eme ba for now we have a lot to learn. Sisi ya de o niyama bibri. We are still talking about the responsibilities and the roles of the voice of the seventh star messenger of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ye gusu a ye siya e juma dia obofwa otosun son anasma fwa otosun son ema yeng de imuno wadema no no. 
And we have spoken about his rule in Malachi 4, 6b. And also in Matthew chapter 17, 1 to 12. And last week we saw his major, one of the most extremely important roles is to finish the mystery of God. A position that has been an area of controversy in the end time, I say, for many ages. But by his grace, he has simplified us for us in this ministry. And as we learn these things, it's not for intellectual exercises. It is food for the bride. To prepare you for the coming Lord. It's a stage of maturity. And from today onwards, we are going to deal with um, one of his major roles, unveiling of mysteries. Unveiling of mysteries. I know the word mysteries it's problematic for people in, in some circles in the end time message. They feel it is not necessary. In fact, we don't need mysteries. And they quote First Corinthians chapter 13. And they apply intellectual reasoning to that. Where Apostle Paul says, you can speak in tongues. You can give your body to be bent. You can give all that you have to everybody. And you can know all the mysteries on earth. And if you don't have charity, you go missing. Hallelujah. Amen. Say so you are like a tinkling Brass. And therefore, by quoting this scripture, the interpretation people have given it that mysteries are of no necessity. But mysteries are of great importance to the bride. It's a bridal food. You see, if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, so, to form where they can Apostle Paul never said mysteries and tongue speaking and doing good is not good. He is talking about doing those things with that divine revelation. You can do all these things, but without divine revelation, you are just like a tinkling brass. But the bride will do those things with divine revelation. And produce charity. And therefore, it doesn't condemn mysteries. It rather strengthens mysteries, but you must know mysteries with divine revelation. Not through head knowledge, as is very common in the message circles. Because, as I said, mysteries is a brighter food. The end time message can be divided into two. I'm having a challenge with some people. One aspect is the fundamental doctrines. And then the other side are the mysteries. The fundamental doctrines establishes you in a message. It's able to direct your path. The mysteries help you to grow. But that is where you move into areas of higher revelation and understanding. Some uneducated people in the end time, I'm not talking about physical schooling. 
Omo ensia de ana ye ntete won. Ye omo mo nko suku o. I saying that what the bride needs is only the mysteries. Only the mysteries. That's what the bride needs. Omo I say the iPhone here aya hu tasem no nko a. And therefore if you don't preach mysteries you are in big trouble. You have not preached the message. And to the Omo can it say say one can hu tasem no nko a. Na tasa hu ni ewe me mka se. It means you are spiritually blind. And we must go back to Calvary. The message is made up of the milk and the meat. Apostle Paul talked about it. The meat and the milk. You start from the milk and you graduate to eating of meat. If you don't take milk, how can you chew meat? Is there anybody here who was born and found himself doing PAD? Is there anybody here? Yeah, you, you were a PAD holder. Uh, is it the day you were born? Then you find yourself at the University of Ghana doing PAD. You must start from somewhere. Do you get it? Yes. When you are cooping, you are a magician. When you are cooking, you are yini. Enti obi eni anu ma ya wo no no ya wo na ape ena osore kuma amin pacha me ko University of Ghana ko ye PAD. Ebi ni ho wabisa professor professor se bi ni ho sa. If there's someone here, you can raise your so hand. So, you are outside there, my own son. And in a typical church like this, now sorry, I sorry to say, no. whether you like it or not, is made up of two categories of people at all material times. So, who po who po? Ni pe kuo mi enu ne wo ma bribia. We are not in a typical public sector school. Yeni, eh, my friend, say to Anna. Ma uto mu fanche eh say to. Where we have class one, class two, class three, up to. Uh, secondary school. And you need to come to DC LA primary. Into class one for class two for us. So there's a subject to teach for class one, class two. That way, we are in a mixed multitude where every moment in time you have class one people coming here, and then you have university people here. You have PhD holders, you have professors in the same class. Now you need to come no. Send your tears and say. Ahaya, omo musiya A B C diwa ha. Omo so omo musiya two letter words diwa ha. Yeah. Sasa suno omo omo ye kakulos nusu titi ha. That's it. Eni ya wo omo omo ye P A G nusu titi ha B T. That's it. I am fra fra. So if you're a minister who waits on the Lord, the Lord will give you messages at times to take care of the milk, and at times to take care of the meat. Enti sa wu ya sofu a uche a radi ni mwa. E tu de biya sa mo di bema ono e di ama nufusiyo. Hallelujah. That's what we call food in due season. So if you're a PhD holder sitting here, and we are preaching milk, be humble. Are you here with me? Amen. Be humble. Maybe it might not be food for you. But it's food for some people. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If you are also a milk chewa drinker here, and we are preaching meats, be humble. Because when you drink meats, you shall learn. Hallelujah. Humility is a key. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit. The poor, one thing about poor people, that every day they want more. So no matter how much you know, you want more. So far out is the word. Amen. So that's how this ministry is and that's how it will be. Until the day the Lord comes. One of the major rules of the prophet messenger is the unveiling of mysteries. And mysteries are of great importance to the bride. If you read the book of Matthew chapter 13, 
When the Lord was talking about the parable of the sower, the disciples went to him and they asked him a question. Verse 10. Matthew 13, 10. Listen to what the Lord said. And the disciple came and said unto him, Why speaketh thou unto them in parables? Why speaketh thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Now, indicating that mysteries are special food for a peculiar group of people it is not food for everyone it is not meant for everybody it is meant only for the bride for the bride the mysteries are revealed but for those who are not part of the brighter team, it is jargon and it is nonsense. Hallelujah. So, Amen. never condemn mysteries. However, knowing them with that divine revelation does not make you a rapture candidate. Luke chapter 8 to the verse number 10. Luke 8 verse 10. And he said unto you, it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. Now I say, I say, Amen. Amen. So you see, whoever says mysteries are unimportant does not know what he's even talking about. It means you have not started the message yet. You must go back to Calvary. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. Revelation has been a book that most of the people in denomination discard and they said it's a book that must not be read. If you read, you'll go mad. Indeed, when you read, you go mad. <laughs> but by his grace, that is where the bride gets their zeal and their power and authority from. The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must surely come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Yesu Christo adiye a o nyankopon de ma no se on chire ne nkoa de etwa se e ba ntem na onam ne bofo so de bechre na kwa Yohani so who as John to write the book of revelation enti hwa na ka che se ka che Yohani so on chire adi sem no Jesus Christ on Nazareth eh Yesu Christo on Nazareth the book of revelation contains mysteries na adi sem ngo ma no ahunta sem kwa na ahye so if you say mysteries are not good means Jesus is a fool who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw? Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy 
and I like that. Else, can go for the Yes, it can be Johanam. And keep those things yes, sir. which are written in there for the time is at hand. Three things. Amen. As a fool, as a bua se bahu, as a okay, amen. Is Rani dear or King Kain? King Kain. Ni wa wo tie edi insem no. Na wo di die wa twere no mu no sie na bre no aben. Amen. Hallelujah. Is Rani wan o mo be dey obo king kain. Hmm? Because e bi mo be tima kain. Yes. In e bi won so ntimi kain. O tie? Na mo o tie. Yes sir. Ye come and it. Mhm. Na mo ni a o king kain ni o tie no de hia ne se e mu insem no. O be tima ekipu. Amen. So some cannot read. So those who cannot read, if they can read and they can hear it, and not just hearing but keep it, they are also blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are not blessed. You are not blessed. This is scripture. Yes, sir. If you cannot read and understand and keep it, you are not blessed. <laughs> And I want to mean tie, and I want to mean what tie, what can can tie we no um fancy em fa mo bra. That is why I am blessed. And unti na my yeshira. That is why you are blessed. And unti na why yeshira. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. 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 Mysteries are important. I want to say mu here. Is a brother food. Eh ya yefro na bi. Let me tell you something. Ma me ka bi bi kire o. Why you must understand every mystery. The entire I say unti unta say bi ase. About 720 years before Jesus Christ came on earth. There's a prophet called Daniel. Who are given a prophetic ministration. Talking about a father, a certain prince will come with his people. And surround Jerusalem. And destroy the city. And the temple. When Jesus Christ came in Luke 21 24, he re emphasized the prophecy of John. Oh, see, of Daniel. Daniel and Conscience Sudia. And he left. But these were in symbols and in quotes. Now It was a mystery. Now, in AD 70, around 10th August, when Titus and his group came to Jerusalem. In the 10th August, AD 70. Ah, Tito, Osrahne no oni ni dom eba Jerusalem. That is the prince, the people of the prince. Ah yes, sir. And Crawfono ahim pono. When they came to Jerusalem, we move by Jerusalem and surrounded the city. We move to Crawfonusia. According to history, Abakasam chere. The disciples and then those who follow disciples who understood that mystery. Yes, sir. Eh? Immediately they saw they ran away. Yeah. But I and say, Womua omuji yes you are some pani di ye a sinfuono a chidifuono. Na omuti sa wunta semuna seno. No mu who said ye yosu eba can see Daniel asamu so abamuno. Omu yine jani fri kroni mu. Yeah. But to the others, they saw it as a normal war. So as a political game between Israel and Rome. Some had read like some people have read in this message. But they were intellectual readers. So they did not understand the concept of Jerusalem being surrounded. They stayed in the all perished. So knowing the mysteries. Allows you to know the times and the seasons. As we stand here, every bomb that goes to Israel, we can interpret. As we stand here, any attitude that goes in Russia, we can interpret. And whatever happens in the European Union, we can interpret. And whatever decision the World Council of Churches take, we can interpret. May the Lord help us.
is my prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Is it clear? What you so you understand why you cannot say mysteries are not important. I don't think indeed mysteries have caused a lot of confusion in the end time because you see it's so and supposed to be so when you read this bible without the message books you get confused and when you read the message books without the Bible, you'll be confused. I see most people reading the Bible without the message books. So they cannot bring the scripture to dovetail. Do you know dovetail? So you cannot bring if you don't combine the books, you can't bring every scripture to line up like last week. You saw how the scriptures were lining up. Aha. Uh -huh. And nobody can challenge it. Eh? After everybody say, Oh, this is clear. Why? Every scripture will line up until even uh, the greatest critic will know that this scripture oh, it goes with it. And the prophet said, if you bring any scripture that doesn't line up, it will show. Do you get it? Yeah. If you bring a scripture that doesn't line up, you see that it will show. Yeah. And people will know that mm, this thing you are bringing, it doesn't move along. So you must be able to combine this book and the message books to be able to bring the scriptures to line up. And as I said, so I said, I said, I said, no for you for nasem. Now they are kicking up. Both are two centuries. Pepe, pepe. Any sa, a base a to tokro. Na tokro niye kanko. No a kofa. Adi a wudi tumno. Eno sunde man chia ye nai. Wudi besi suwa. Enti min tom mani ye ye. But sa o fa chia semno. Na o for you for nasem no. Sa ne wa chia mupe pepe noa. Ubo se a base two centuries. Pepe, pepe. Na bibi edi su pepe pepe. So there are two kinds of mysteries, if I may put that way. That the seven star is supposed to unveil. One is what I call the uncovered veil. Covered truth. Sorry. These are things that apostles interpreted, explained, and practiced, which is there. But along the line during the church ages, That's especially so. during the third church age, then the collector doctrines came in and they were all covered. And the the duty of the last prophet messenger is to unveil those truths back to the bride. Now, the some of them is water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Where the apostle practiced. But the churches covered it. And they brought baptism in the name of Father, Son, Holy Ghost. The God heard that apostle Paul preach vividly. But Roman Catholic Church decided to bring Trinity in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, which is not in the Bible. Now, Roman Safano, yes, Omode, a Tremiensa, Ananipe, Yamiensa, Yamieja, Yamioba, Yamun, Concondi Besiwa, any Bible, Muno. And some of them is women preachers, position of women in the church. A Bissuya, a Magina Bewa Safumu, a Mamma Kenyamiasa, I saw them. I saw the tender were covered along the line. But the prophet messenger duty was to come and unveil all this truth that had been covered along the line. We muni niya ma bebre na na eye no kreya obon sam na mo sa ansafono su kata so na wo nyanku pondi insuruma otosun sonu ba se 
And we have others that are mysteries that the writers who wrote them were not given the opportunity to interpret. Neither did they even have the opportunity to understand. Some of the kids, they wanted to understand. And they were told to go and sleep. The understanding will come in the last days. So we read Daniel chapter 12. Daniel chapter 12. Verse 1. Daniel chapter 12. From verse 1. And he said, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, who is time for the children of thy people, there shall be a time of trouble. Such as never was seen, there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. Sabreno ena wabesori ejina ama omaino na omo odi ne unkwangu manu mudi e omo omo nyangwa. So as the angel was saying this, Daniel was writing. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And then that be why shall shine out the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn a many to righteousness are the stars forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This will give you a revelation. The wise, they shall shine. Hallelujah. Amen. But oh Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Now, oh Daniel, dear, to a woman in Munaswano, Nafako to baby, Nanipa and Nimdia Bedros, Bebre, Nipa Beko Abba, Nimdienti, to whom on Swano, Nafako to a Kosi, a Reno. Because every embryo will be back. Now what about be being human? No, watch it, watch him. And then Daniel, although he was the one who wrote it, the ability to understand what he wrote was not given to him. And then Daniel, and he was trying to crampo to me or the betias and cry and farm. No. Then I, I Daniel looked and behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And I'm here, yeah. Now, me will say, hey, Nipa, me a new edna, a sonny fa, bako, and a bill sujina, a favor fro. And one side to the man clothed with linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be to the end of these wonders? And a baku be say, baku no say, a mehe, and a sang on my day, a beji. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river. When he have his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that live forever and ever, that it shall be for a time, times, and half. Eh? And when he shall have accomplished the scatter, hey, eh, when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. Time, and I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, Oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and still to the time of the end. And what catch and say, Would you call? So these things Daniel was shown, but the ability to understand and interpret was not granted to Daniel. And we go to the book of Revelation, which was written around AD 96. Made up of big, big, big symbols. And I saw a beast with seven heads. 
And I saw a woman sitting on many waters. And I saw a beast coming out of the water. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. John wrote them. But the understanding and interpretation of what he wrote was all given to him. Neither was he given to the reformers. Talking about John Wesley. Talking about Martin Luther. It was all given to them to unveil this mystery. It is the bride in the seventh church age. Because see, your qualification is different from the qualification of those in the sixth church age. I'll tell you that the most difficult age to make it to rapture in the seventh church age. My catcher said, I want to so I didn't pass over coffee me head. Because the seventh church age to qualify you might be a restoration to the full word. A sense that I brain would yeah, say about Uber Fata, say Uber Coffee. Now I say, what was your name at the SCP, I will assemble my enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are not restored to the full word, you cannot make it to the rapture. So, if you see what name was, assemble my enemy, I will drink coffee. Because Christ is coming for a wise virgin. A son said, Christ will ever fight or buy a revelated woman. Not a fool. And a fool is made up of half truth. And then half on truth. But the wise virgin has the entire truth. And therefore, it is absolutely compulsory. I don't think necessary. Important. Now to understand the mysteries. Did you get that? What uh, they make I For without understand these mysteries, you'll be living like a fool. But I insist, knowing the mysteries too without revelation does not guarantee heaven going. Oh, knowing the mysteries without understanding the basics, milk. You cannot make it. Basic. Basic. That shall not steal. Eh? That shall not drink a potashi. Oh. That shall not chase women. <laughs> ah. Class one. Class one. Class one. That, that, that shall not hate your brother. This one you can't. How can you? Well, Abraham will tell you, how can I teach them algebra yeah. when they don't know A, B, C, D? Yes, sir. Eh? So people will say, we don't need the A, B, C, D. They don't, they don't have wisdom. Yes, sir. Because the prophet say, how can I teach them algebra mm -hmm. when they don't know the A, B, which means the A, B, C, D is a fundamental that you need to prop you to the algebra. Yes, sir. And what do you mean, Kase? And if you here, Uba then what I say? Eh, oh, I jam a body and yahe. The hian is over in yahoo, that's a no. Oh, crown of body and yahe. As he said, the yahe, I throw the yahe, or tie the yahe. Ah, now Uba to me, Africa, swan. Yan throw ABCD. No, I caught na University of Ghana, master's degree, who's your quiet mathematics. M.A. Mathematics. M.A. Mathematics. Ah, M.S.C. Mathematics. Hey. Now, you yeah, draw a sign to a crana. You have a way. 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 You know, in those days, they used to force people to go and do science. When you are okay, you are good in class. So, science school from three, my headmaster called me to the office and he said, he want me to go and do science. So I went to the science class. 
But I have a problem with mass. It has always been my problem. Not to talk about additional mathematics. <laughs> eh? Mass. Not to talk about. So I went to the science class. Brother, there is, when I'm sitting, I see they are speaking Greek. <laughs> Greek to me. That's why when it comes to add mass, I never got 9 over 100 in any of the science subjects. You get it? So I went to the headmaster's office and I told him, Hedy, uh, in fact, I can't do science. Please let me go to business class. And I went to business class, I was topping. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my area. I see on one day, no. The one paper I am mathematics. Say, we see on one on one year math. The oya dia pa. Teacher say, oh, we dey dey we oya dia dia. We come, we come science sir. We be to carry na. We dey come. And we dey actually no come here. If we do one on one year, draw equation na to one on solve, evaluate. Proof. Proof. Ah, what you are doing is how many years you know over ten krana yadin. Hey, and now over hundred krana yadin. Oko headmaster said, "Master, I'm patcho. Baby, I don't know what to do." Mr. Wadi, I'm missing. Oko, baby, I'm free buying. Oko, baby, I'm free buying. Oh, Adam. Amen. So you see, if you don't know the basics, you can never have a revelation of the meat. So. Here we we'll combine the basis and the mix. Hallelujah. Amen. Into unima. So we nimu fa pemono enke tu enke tu anoa ebe mo akika ane be abomu na de aka omana ye abanoa na ye do koni ye kan sema kesi ya uti minye enti ahadi ye hiyam ye nunu yina enke tu ane kika abomu na fi akwa kori na ma kesi ano. I don't know why I'm stressing all day, but let me tell you something. Mami kabi bintro. Some time passed, we understood social gospel. Yet, uh, social gospel. When, uh, when we say social gospel, yeah, social gospel, uh, social gospel is any gospel that allows you to stay in your sin. Yes. 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 It's not wearing high heel that will take you to the rapture. That's social gospel. It's not wearing red wig that will take you to the rapture. That's social gospel. But now there's a new definition of social gospel by certain fools in the end time message. social gospel when you preach about the resurrected Christ, they call it social gospel. Eh? That's a new definition of social gospel from the devil that he has given to some people who are intellectually bankrupt spiritually. You know, when I get to this place, I use hard words. Say they be an assume. And to be Two months, some whom ya, I'm not even casa. Me, I don't care because I can't challenge what I'm saying. If you yes, break it to the scripture, yeah. the scripture will defeat you. Yes, sir. Ah, if you tell me when I'm preaching, people are preaching about Jesus Christ, the resurrected Christ. Eh, it's social gospel. It means uh -huh. intellectual, you are bankrupt yes, spiritually. Sir. You don't even have wisdom. When the whole message is about Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, yes. and forever. Gifts are not food for the bride. When the prophet says we should say amen to every Eh? Not Samu. Every. Why, bro, do you for to say, Nyamia Sembia Yanka Amen and Sisudia? And Apostle said, Every scripture is written by inspiration. And now, as my for to say, Trust and be our number, Nyam, listen, home, 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 soon or try. I'm telling you so that when they bring this thing to you, you know what to tell them. Make a way, and it's good for doctrine. Yes, sir. 
is good for rebuke. Yes, sir. Every doctrine, right from Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to Revelation chapter 22, every scripture is good for doctrine. Are you here? Yes, sir. So don't reject any word in this book. Yes, every sir. single word there is important. Is, is important. Go, important yes, from. Yes, sir. So we go anywhere and anybody is preaching anything that the interpretation is scriptural. Say amen to it. Amen. It is a word for the bride. Yes, sir. And it was a trust me when I'm young, Kupa home sooner at Trey. Now in Trey, beer, a woman beer, I will hold up my and Trey. So the Batuya fool, so the Bakaya Nimu, and to Koba be near Kenya, me as a Naya, some noir, and he grab a beer, baby beer, and ya some Naya, no crunk for our cassay. Amen. And now the brother food. Where are you from, Adriane? Amen. Amen. I hope you understand. I finished my course. Maybe my tumor. In 1963. No, let me give you some of the mysteries first. Let's read it from. Is it the sign or the end, sir? I say, Is it the sign of the end, sir? So, let me. Paragraph 85. Going. The prophet lists out the mysteries. Number one, the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. That's the one we are talking on now. Matthew 13, 3 to 15. Matthew 17, 3 to 15. The second mystery is a mystery of Israel blindness during this age. Romans 11, 25 with the context which we have explained Roma to you 11, here. 25. The third mystery is a mystery of the translation of the living saints at the end time of this age. First Corinthians 15 and 1 Thessalonians 4 14 to 17. The fourth mystery of the New Testament church as one body composed of both Jews and Gentiles. The fifth mystery is of the church as the bride of Christ. Ephesians 5 to The sixth mystery is of the living Christ. Same yesterday, today, and forever. The seven mystery is of God, living Christ at the incarnate fullness of the Godhead, a body in whom all divine wisdom and godliness restored to man. The ninth mystery is a mystery of iniquity found in Second Thessalonians. So the tenth mystery is of the seven stars of Revelation 120. The seven churches, stars, and the seven churches, the seven messengers, and so forth. And the eleventh mystery is the mystery of Babylon, the prostitute, Revelation 17, 5-7. That's some of the mysteries that this angel is supposed to wind up. All the mysteries of God. And the other one, may I say this with reverence, and not referring to myself, of course, you know the prophet for that. Yes, sir. But referring to the angel of God, the serpent seed, that has been a hidden mystery all through the years. The grace taken out. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you understand the serpency doctrine? If you understand Genesis chapter 3, what happened there? That the denomination said Adam and Eve, they ate apple by the revelation of this age through the messenger that we have received. You know that Adam and Eve never ate apple. They had... Eve has sex with a serpent. And then they gave birth to Cain. And Adam has sex with the wife. 
Adam, and then he died. And they gave birth to Abel. And Cain took after his father the serpent. And that's why he was an animal. With animalistic nature. And when the animalistic nature mingles, that's why we have so many animals roaming about in the world. So you need cavalry. To change you from that. Hallelujah. Amen. And I like the prophet for this. But read, no such a thing as an, an eternal burning hell. And it's a yenny hell or order. It is also a wrong doctrine. A that there's eternal hell. There's nothing like that. Say hell or order. There's everlasting hell. It will last at a point. And we are talking about the lake of fire. People will go to the lake of fire. Because everything that has a beginning must have an end. And the lake of fire has a beginning. It will come to pass that it will be an end. And everybody will go to the lake of fire at a point. There is what we call annihilation. Everybody will be burned to ashes. And then mystery of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Without sensation. Listen, without what? Sensation. Which is very common. In all the denominations church in the end time message. So when you go and they are speaking in tongues. We declare the evidence of the Holy Ghost. Which we know is not the evidence of the Holy Ghost. Because tongue speaking is one of the gifts. And having a gift does not mean that you have the Holy Ghost. I'm confusing people the more. <laughs> because you can have the gifts without having the giver. But Balaam had the gifts. Now Balaam no If a donkey had the gifts. Even even Judas had the gift. Judas. But he missed Pentecost. That's it. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. So, speaking in tongues, I have a sensation and shaking. That's what I have there. After you are spoken in tongues, which I speak in tongues by the grace of God. Hmm? So, I'm not condemning tongue speaking. After you are spoken, we will wash you clean. And you fell down. And you shook. And everybody fell. You are grateful for God. But we will wash you clean. Produce the character of the word. Eh? At Kadesh Bania. Can you produce the character of the word? Period. If you cannot produce the character of the word, so what you, mean, now, you had the gifts and you are without you. having the giver. I won't need your demon. Amen. Are you confused? Don't be. Do you get it? Aha. What you say? If you cannot produce the character of the word, so what you mean, now, then you, you had the gifts. Without having the giver. I will need your match. It means know. that anointing came upon you. And open your eye to see visions. But the spirit of God is not living in you. Because Christ in you, the hope of glory. Not anointing on you, the hope of glory. Christ in you. That is why we are the original word. And we speak the original truth. And if you speak, then we must produce the original character. That is where our problem is. Producing the original character or the message or the hour. Amen. 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 So these are some of the mysteries. 
ministry is able to bring to the fore. So you see, wherever you go, and you hear any end time message believer, tell you that you don't need the message or the prophet. That person is Galatians 3, uh, 3, 3, eh? uh, Galatians 3, 1, or rather. He's a foolish Galatian. They have been bewitched. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Are we back online now? In 1963, a very important incident happened in the ministry of the prophet. He had had a revelation which he told the entire church. And he told them that in a vision he was speaking Kokoba. I don't know whether that's the correct pronouncement. Kokoba. Is that the correct word? Raju, is it Kokoba? Uh huh. And we had to say that. And I said, What was That is you. Maybe I said, Make a brothel. You also interpret. I said, Well, but when they meet me, that's the way. But I think um, if you go to the farm, those of us in the hinterland, when you go to the farm, those days, when you're walking the farm, I did be most not at the tower. I did him. And Cassan Cassay. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So in the vision, you saw himself picking the cockle bar. And until I said, This I did him. Then he heard a blast. Boom on the mountain. And the voice told him to go to the east. So later, he and Brother Sotman and two other brothers, there were three brothers with him. They went to the bush to for hunting. You know, the prophet loved hunting so much. Amen. So at the mountains, then the, the prophet were directed to go to the east. The blast came. You can go and research on it. Seven angels came from heaven. Foolish people are disputing this. No, mama, like say, at times they deserve to be called who, the way they are supposed to be described. Eh? Jesus will look at them and say, You vipers. Eh? Is it an insult? He look at them and say, You vipers. Yes. Paul says, You foolish Galatians. So it gets to a point you might tell them point blank in the face. This is who you are. Eh, te do baby. Na ni pani jimia, ma jimia no kwa who the other describe no a. Eh, so catch us with Jimmy. Yes. Ah. Amen. Amen. Seven angels came down. About four hundred soon sani by. And picked the prophet. I know mama would do for us. Which formed a constellation. Ah, eh yeah. Eh, mru kumbi e wo wiem. America picked it. America four five. And they brought the prophet down. And I you for that is when one of the most important books, the seals, were opened to the prophet. Very, very important book for the bride. Amen. Amen. And Talking about the seals, there are three things you must always connect to the seals. The seven Gentile church ages. Who can give me one name? The first church age, what is the name? The new ones. Not the old ones. The new ones. The new ones. Uh -huh. Ephesus, yes. Another one. The new ones, who? To see whether you are learning. Yes, I'm uh -huh. uh, You are not a new one. Are you a new one? Lydia is not a new one. Yes, Angela. 
Theater. Theater. Yes, that's good. Another new one. When you buy a from you. New one. Are there new people here? New, for, new one is two years, years and below. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pegamos. Pegamo. So we have seven. Okay, you are not a new one. Uh -huh. <laughs> this one is a new one. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Laodicea. Laodicea. So the Gentile dispensation is divided into seven different dispensations. So the seven church ages, the seals, and Revelation chapter 4, the four beasts are all connected to the redemption of the bride. Amen. Amen. And by talking about the seals, that's connected to the redemption of the Bible. I'm talking about the first seal. Second seal. Third seal. The fourth seal. The fifth seal is not connected to the Gentiles. Because about the Jews, which we know about later. The sixth seal is not about our redemption to the rapture. It talks about events that will happen after the rapture. And then the seventh seal is the most important one too, which we we'll talk about leading to the bride going away. So we are going to connect some of the seals with Revelation chapter 4 and then the church ages for you to understand. So, so Revelation chapter 4. The verse number 1. Amen. 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 Meet Chiwin. Aha, you are very If you are new, you see, you have a lot of confusion. Be not afraid. Christ will help you. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I'll show thee things which must be hereafter. Said to Trobento, ah, any, any me casa and no say, Fru braha, Nami Trao, dear, a chasse, yenum etche no eba. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, and behold, what did he see? Eh, 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 oh, now it's quite. Ara, you saw what? Elias, you saw what? Oh, you saw thrones. Nine how many thrones? So in heaven, we have how many thrones? And then now, I DBC or heaven. Yes, sir. Because, you see, they are saying God is three. Mm -hmm. We shall see. Okay. He saw a throne was set in heaven and five sat on the throne. Ah, you sure? <laughs> and three sat on the throne. No, sir. And four sat on the throne. No, sir. How many people sat on the throne? Yes, sir. Na in tam ara na me wo humu na he wo de ahimya esi osro na obi ti ahimya ne so so wo de ahimya ba kope ba kope na obi oni pa ba kope anya miensa anya nine anya num ba kope let me show something ba kope see. See, do you know what Trinity is doing? Trinity has, is now saying that, you know, in heaven there's only one throne. Not three, and one sat on it. So, mm, God the Son, sit down. God the Father is standing here. God the Holy Ghost, standing here. They say, my leg is paining me. My leg, my leg. I've been standing for 2,000 years. Then, God the Son will stand up. And God the Holy Ghost, and at times, this one will bring the bottles. This one will bring the bottles. They are fighting on the seat. Dear, a real sin, sorry, no, I am a say. Oh, my God, I agree. No, we are shifting cultivation. Shifting cultivation. I can't 
So you see what hybrid religion produces. And makes you a fool. Meanwhile, physically you are intellectual. So John saw heaven. And he saw a throne. And one sat on the throne. And he, not they. He. Into Obi or or Sunday, no call heaven. No one say God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Ghost. You are into Obi some say Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and they told him, Oh, go back on earth or boy. That vision, don't say he didn't see vision. He saw it, but it's from the devil. This Obi catch yourself. Am I teaching somebody? No, my batunum, or young Copoa, or young Tassa, Beshrayo and Tassanimo, no more popo, and Musrebia Bomo. Hallelujah, Amen. Amen. That's why here we dispute and we despise the doctrine of Trinity with impunity. And who did I had yet? A bano, Yamin Tassa, no one treacher and noir. Ya po, ya put an imtia. He said, demonic doctrine from the Roman Catholic Church. They introduced around 300 AD. Through Constantine. Yeah, they forced the doctrine because of their numerous gods that they worship. Verse 3. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sudden stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne inside, like unto an emerald. Nadia Oti Suano Uhenua Oti Se Ahirebuo Ni Bojanambuo Na Nyankonton A Oshe Oshe Oti Se Ahamubuo Echa Ahirebuo Echia. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the sea I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Now, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto a crystal in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts listen full of eyes before and behind na ahwehwepo a eti se ahwehwe wo ahwehwe no animu na ati asefo ba nan a eni aye won animu ni won echiri mama wo wo ahwehwe no 
and symphony, now we chat a Hingano Asia in Penny for Duno Nai Yako to so some designer. You are turning part of your twenty, I say, at your safe for nine in Penny for Duno Nai Yako to so. Yes, so yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. something that when you have the spirit of fear so you can never go to the rapture look at the things we are talking about here hey, that's why revelation said and the fearful cannot be to the rapture the things we are going to see they are not small Every common vision, when your eyes are open, sometimes you see a demon. Who could feel an to me now? And if I do look at Campo, who now money, why hey, I could feel to me now? You cannot sleep. Hey, so the demon, when you see them, when you go home, now fear, fear they grip you. Now money, be all warm, I could feel your to me now. Strange demons. Now money, I'm warm. And you are going to heaven. Now, of course, you are going to see all this, and then you are full of fear here. Who, but who? I uh, 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 Look, people think that when you die, you will change. Whatever you are here, it's just a change of, it's a translation. It's the same thing when you die, you become when you go to the other end. Yeah. If you are fornicator or prostitute, when you go to hell, even in the fire, you want to practice your trade. <laughs> so when you are fearful, you can't make it to the rapture. For in heaven, we are going to see things. Yes, sir. So he saw all these beasts. Four of them. And nine having eyes in front <inaudible> and behind. <inaudible> in other words, every single thing, nothing is hidden from them. And then, you buy a camera 360. Eh, camera 360. Uh-huh. What? camera 360. No, 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 was like a lion. And the second beast, like a calf. They are all in front of the throne of God. The second beast, like a calf. Or an ox. Or a bull, the same translation. And the third beast had a face as a man. And the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. The new ones. Okay. The first beast, who can give me? The the new one. Can I want the small, small ones. Our little children. What was that? The first beast, Grano. Uh-huh. The children. The first beast, no more. I'm talking about that. Uh-huh. Is there a child who can answer? Hey, our friend, one son, give to Omao. Yeah, our friend. Adam Musro. What was the first beast? Abu Odi Kaniye. Judah. A lion, cow for Judah. 
Judah, when you close, come and see me here. Judah, you have your gift. Hello. So for us, behu kwaya. The second is another young child. The other is me. Uh huh. What? Calf. Calf. Yes. Clap for him. Come and see me. Bompa. Bon se mano. So a poor behu no. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, don't joke with them. But they are not listening. Who can say something? The third is another one. Don't assume yes or no. But who kiti kiti bu echiro? Hey, what do you kiti wapa? Who kiti kiti bu apa? Aha. Aha. Eh? Face of a man. Come and see me. Hey. Then the last one. The chat wah. The last one. The chat wah. I saw a hand there. Oh, there was a hand there. Eh, I call it big brother. The hand where? Oh. Okay, no problem. <laughs> see, 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 Nanako, Katao Bunko, Ungo, Pradam. As of my object is bad. Yes. Oh. Eh? Flying Eagle. Flying Come and eagle. see me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So when you come to church, let you want, pay attention. Oh. <laughs> there, there's something in it for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So the first beast, a lion. A lion. The second beast, a calf, a or a bull, bull, or an ox. The third beast had the face of a man. And the fourth beast was not an eagle, but a flying eagle. And when he meet a man with Kasu, tell him, I say, it is a flying eagle. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So he saw these four beasts. Keep it to Revelation chapter 6. We are doing introduction today. Then next we go we come and start. Revelation chapter 6 verse 1. And I saw when he had opened one of the seals and I heard as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. One of the four beasts say, Come and see. Nami Huni, Nami Nami Hunu, say, A German or tea, so I know, no mubaco, anonym. Mete, say, I just a four banana, no mubaco, the inne, I a tissa prana cassa, brana bear. And I saw, and I behold a white horse. And he, take note, that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and went forth conquering and to conquer. Nami huri na he, upon kofi tayabinye, na diya otini suwa nukura tedwia, na wamano abotre, na ofri edi a oridi nkunimu. So he saw so a white horse, and a man, not a woman, because a woman cannot sit on a white horse. If you dare sit on it, or 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 burn home, it will burn. But it was a man. And it must be a man. Or burn. He sat on the horse. Or now, 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 or Oh, Watchman, watchman, and also my security. Graduated. When I was a, a child, I saw watchmen, and then they have the bow, and they have an arrow, right? Yeah. So when you go and see, pam, it will Andy, hit you. Jesus, I know. Uba huwa kima enfui. Na okuta ne tedia, na okuta ne jai. And to we had the answer or the a giant answer, tell you anymore. No, I think not the award. But this man was holding the bow, but there was no arrow. Now, so some by my year or tip on coffee, I see there. Oh, could I tell you anymore? Now, so a giant sitting on this white horse or tip on coffee, I saw. And a crown was given unto him. Now, one more man or a botre, I him what you mean at the man. No, Nibi, oh, Nibi, oh, be at the man. Who is this? We shall see. Why in here? You be who say any panel? Three. 
And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. So the first seal, it was the first beast, which is the lion beast, that are now the content of the first seal. And the second seal, it was the second beast, which is the calf, that announced that John should come and see. So take note, very, very important. And then went another horse that was now white. The first one was what? Now the second one is what? Red. Now And power was given to him. That sat there on to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And that was given him unto him a great sword. Mm -hmm. So the white one. The man who sat on the white one is the same man who had not chained the horse and now sitting on a red horse. Eh? And he's now holding instead of the bow without an arrow, he had put the bow down. He's now holding a sword not in his mouth because he cannot have a sword in his mouth. Yes, sir. He has an, a sword. In his hand. And there went at another horse. And upon Kofu from his fire. Let's go to four. Please. Uh -huh. And when you open the third seal, I heard the third beast say, now the third beast is what? Face of man. Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. Now, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair, a pair of balances in his hand. Uh, you know, you know, you know skill, skill for weighing. When you're going to buy food, eh? yeah, they say there's a skill. So they will put the food on it there, especially meat. Yeah, then it will weigh and they give you the price. Yeah, this is what the man was holding his hands. Auntie Papa, no, and I saw a very many Ukrainians and you were in some. I did this word here. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four B say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of belly for a penny, and see. That had not the oil and the wine. Now, me tea nibi at a sefo bananum fin free. I say, Ye a yosu su crua dinari. Na ye a brosu su crua mi en san dinari. Na so a moon in san die in Yanove. This man, at this moment, is selling all to a dear wheat and belly. All to a brony a yo. A measure for a penny. Who is this man? 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 That's an eagle, flying eagle. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. Now he has a name. Now when he started, he didn't have name. Now his name is now known, and his name that sat on him was death. And hell followed him. And power was given. Unto them over the four parts of the earth to kill with a sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Now, me who read now here upon consul subinier, Nadia Otinis, so no dindy or woe, 
na asama adu di na chi na wa ma won asase abupen nan mu ba ko sutu mi se won fa afna ni ekom ni owo ni asase so emwa nkunkum won and when he had opened the fifth seal i saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of god and for the testimony which they held na wa tin so anu ato so enum num anu no me hunu won a nyankopon asem ne won adanse a obi enti and the voice saying how long o lord holy and true that thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that on the see i told you that the few seal is not connected to the gentiles if you look at this voice these are jews and and they are looking for revenge because see, they depend on the law of moses the law of moses say an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth a leg for a leg a head for a head a tongue for a tongue eh uh -huh. that's the law of moses so if you watch them this one is not connected to the gentiles they are jews who are looking for revenge going back to the law of moses so this is not for us enti omu jira for omu tie mu se emplay na urade ba nya bu tra twa ma sanko fo omu kunkum ye nuanu adan juda fo no omu de hoti ase e ye mose mra you slap me i slap you of course you remove my eye i remove your eye mm. god no verse yes enti de o ya de ba ye no no de bi ba ye o enti omu stressa o yakopon e me tua nko fo ne kama o gentiles you know forgiveness the Bible tells us to forgive the eleven commandment. Ah, I'm I thought to do So, we we'll have a pictorial look. Really? Show us. So we we'll go through quickly. Then we can bring it to an end. As I wept to appetite. For next Sunday, so Sunday you come to church in your numbers. And then we begin to unveil. So the first beast. Like a lion. Who is this lion? And why is it the one who announced the first seal? How is a lion related to the seal? We know by the grace of God. Then he saw the second beast like a cow. Why this beast? I don't think I saw a boy and a outsider before. Emily, when my na 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 na, why you confused? Enye 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 who nyami tiasi? Nyami tiasi what? Enche ni nyami tiasi. And the third beast na outsider before a face as a man. Na ni mu tiso ni pe ni mu. And the fourth beast. Oh yes, Lord. The other so a nine was a flying eagle. Aye, a Korea what two? Flying Korea what two? Flying eagle. A Korea what two? Yes, sir. Give me the picture. We've gone through this. Mami, the picture of the Mami first seal. Fonino. The first seal. So yeah. you saw the first seal. Enunti. It's a white horse. And so I know every kind of near here. And a man sat on it. And he see in his hand a bow. Eh? But he's not holding an arrow. It's very significant. Hallelujah. Amen. When I come here right now with a gun, there's no bullet in it. And I point it at you. What will happen? Eh? Skate! Ah. You are there's no bullet. Oh. Eh? Skate! Hey, 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 hey. Now the man will pop, 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 pop. What the hell, my member has this year? Me do have a bullet in the back, but me the man one in short to a bantu. Pia, I'm begging her. Hey, you, hey, everybody. Abu, Abu ba ni mo. So, pia me jani. What am I doing when I do that? Me as I'm here, then. Eh? Eh? Threat. I'm threatening you. Me bow. So we see what this man did. Inti ebe u de de be me here. Love for Jesus. But we say my Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love the message. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you here with us? Then the second seal, he saw a red horse. And on this red horse, now this man is now holding a sword. On the pay, or And by this sword, he's supposed to kill. Now, when I'm granted, so as well, that's the second seal. 
Then the chest seal, he saw this man holding these balances in his hands. And he said, A wheat for denarii. A wheat for a penny. And he says, A wheat for a penny. Three measures for a penny. A wheat for a penny. Or you they say the idea near tongue. But he was warned. Make sure you don't hurt the oil and the wine. And we're born to cause a fire and a engono and a bobeno. Umfa wenzenka. The Lord gave us a scripture. He said, "Don't fear those who can kill the flesh." Onyango pon ma jesem asi instro for this flesh. They can do anything to this flesh. That's why what kills somebody cannot determine where he's going. I remember many years ago, it's in 1994. I was a teacher at a primary school. I was teaching class two. And everywhere I go, I carry my message. And it's a Pentecost school. Now a Pentecost school. And so they got to know that I'm a basic believer. And they told me that the way William Abraham died is indication that he is not from God. And I said the first person who go to hell is Jesus Christ. Then Apostle Paul will go. Then Peter will go. Because they cut Paul's head off. Peter was crucified. His leg was in the air and his head was down. Petro, and go and read the first book of Matthias. And go and read about Polycap. Which is your hero. And brother, as we teach this, eh, you understand God's love of salvation. Now when you say God loves you, eh? He's talking about salvation. Eh? Because you will see how he himself is telling people that you be ready, you are going to die. Eh? People are going to die. You, you die, and it's like he can do nothing about it, but he cares for you. No afro, adiamansa. Amen. I told the young man I'm working with. I said, when the Lord finishes with you, how you will die is not his problem again. And he takes when your soul is in him, this flesh is nothing. Satan can buffet you, massacre you, destroy you. But at the end of the day, when you open your eyes, beyond the curtains of time, what? 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 Therefore, don't go to someone who is sick and say, hey, when I went there, the way he was he, suffering, he, this man, he might be a sinner. If he's, he's from God, how can he's, God allow him to go through this? Turn the fourth seal. And then the fourth seal. Then the fourth seal. And then the fourth seal. And he saw this man. Now look at him. Now who saw about him? His name is what? Death. Sitting on this horse, holding a sword, and now with other beasts, you are going to bring death and hunger on earth. A com, a mania at a tea with the other beasts, bringing death, hunger, mm -hmm. is this famine, man. Why is that very man? Abu Akwate very very big deep. He's hiding, but we expose him. You big deep. We expose him. Then you know, 
When we say the message or the hour. And when we say denomination is or the devil. And when we talk about hybridized religion. And we want not to be part of it. You might, you might think we are joking. And we think we are holier than that. If you know this man. And what he has done. And what he's doing now with the other beasts. <laughs> and how people are dying. And it's an you Anger. I come. And you got in a come. You got a come. You put a come with the go for. So this man. Sabah May. May the Lord have mercy. Amen. Let me take you through this one. My main found fat. I'm not sure they can see. Me who me nims all put on the light. Can you see? Munum can you my kakra? Samu. Let me explain so that. When we come next, we go willing. We church we mu kakra sa sa ba ya na watu se ne yeba. Sorry na shirin, sorry na shirin, shirin my brother. Sorry na shirin, sorry na. Do you know I've seen that song? I know Brother Parry can't sing it. But why I stayed didn't stay there. <laughs> village you didn't stay there. <laughs> this is a village song. Ah, <laughs> huh? how many of you can sing it? Can you sing it? You can sing it. We are singing na atom pine. What do you talk? Musola na mushe. Now, Effie, all that we are spoken about. The Akan wants to say, "No, there is a lion. Jatanu niye. There is an ox. Where ni nanchiye? There is the face of a man. Where ni pani mu? And then there is an eagle. Any okodi yeno? What I don't see here, which I think maybe we can upgrade it. It's to connect the seals to the beast. Any sir, yet the and so I know no. Ebe bata ati asefone ho. If you watch the lion, where is that one? He started working from AD 53 to AD 70. Oh, I say so. Yeah, Juma AD 53. Under the star messenger Apostle Paul. I will pour on him bremu. So the lion beast will work from AD 53 to AD 170. Inti jatano abwa ati asefo jatano yajuma efe edionu miensa kusi ahadi edionu. And here will be the white horse. Aimu inha no muno na bongo fita no sufi asefo yajuma. Amen. Amen. The ox, the bull, or the calf started working from AD 170. One horse, this ox, started working from AD 170. Up until AD 1520. So this horse worked under this star messenger, Martin and then Columba. So in, under this ox. Yes, we are supposed to see the red horse rider and the black horse rider here. Ponko, kone, ponko. Tu, tu, we, no, can, we, can, we can upgrade. We have not changed any revelation. Yes. It's the same thing, but just for people to understand it better. Anyway. Then the face of a man started under Martin Luther, AD 1520. Luther and Bremu, Fiapi Mahani Munadu, and John Wesley, and John Wesley Bremu, AD 1906. We understand all this, don't but, worry. But yes, yes. Fear not, little flock. Then the flying eagle started under the prophet messenger to this age. AD 1906. Until when, I don't know. <laughs> But very soon, this flying eagle, the work will come to an end. So why a flying eagle? We understand. Mm. And here you should bring the pale horse. Because the pale horse, the grey horse, the one with death. So I think Imam can upgrade it for the purpose of our learning. It makes it very simple to understand. Yeah. So let's go over quickly and then we close. No. 
The, no, 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 the, the picture. The picture again. Please. The picture. What did you just show me? Uh -huh. So one, do it the way you did it the other time. The lion beast that we read about in Revelation chapter 4. Jata he was released under the ministry of Apostle Paul. Paul Bremu, anyway, you buy. And it was under the ministry of Apostle Paul that the white horse rider who was holding a bow without an arrow was also released. Then the red horse who was holding a, a sword and then the black horse who was selling they were all released under Irenaeus, Martin, and Columba. And it was during their time that this horse, this uh, ox, was also released. We will know how that one relates to the two uh, horses. Then during the era of Martin Luther, to John Wesley, John Wesley the face of a man was released. And why? We'll come to understand. And during the ministry, the large church age, the Laodicea church age, when the pay hall, the grey horse rider is riding, whose name is Death, and hell followed him, who is killing with the other beasts, the eagle. Flying eagle was also released. So, who are they? And what does it relate to all these things? We will come to an understanding. By and by, when the morning comes, when all the saints of God are gathered home, we will tell the story how we overcome. We will understand it better by ever. So this is a teaser. To Introduction from next week, God willing. We are going to dive deep. Expose the devil. Expose the churches. Expose. And will come and arrest me. God bless us. Amen. Ah. <laughs> I, I preached it on radio. Ah. And I had a call. He said, Professor, some, some, some intellectual name. Be. He said, They want me at West Legon. I said, You can't for a meeting. Call radio, so. If you are normal, say, You can't read it in 170. On person, we should suffer. They say, I'm bringing Legon. confusion in Ghana. Also, the Saka Saka Bagana. And that there's peace in this country. Ah, and every preacher who goes on radio is preaching about the resurrected Christ. Oh, be a Christo, who wants them. But I'm preaching Trinity. And I want to bring confusion in Ghana. So I should meet them at East Legon. Africa Theological something something. I told them I won't come. And if they want me, they should come to Original World Ministry. Because here is my home ground. I just, I just call all of you. And then we come and meet them here. Uh -huh. Then they will see. You so see, when you are on your home turf, you can misbehave a lot. But well, that's your home turf. But there, they will finish me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So pray for me. The Lord will bless you if you pray for me. God bless you. Amen. 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 Papa, give us a wonderful song. Listen to us on radio. On radio, so tonight number one FM one hundred five point three. Number one FM one zero five point three, so in one four seven.
What a revelated song. Hallelujah. Talking about the Godhead and water baptism. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you. Father, we thank you. With our intellectual reasoning, there's no way we can understand these things. I'd have to take a prophet that you brought on this age and you give them a revelation of all these things. Our Father, we too, today, we can stand here by your grace to explain all these things to your children. I pray for one spirit for myself and everyone here, the spirit of humility. Yes, Lord. That we will always recognize where we came from. That not by our might, not by our power, that by your grace. That you are lifted us to this level. My prayer, and it's been my prayer now with this Lord, and you know my heart, that all of us can live by this word. Because we'll be the most miserable people. In fact, the most miserable. The Father, with all these revelations and understanding and knowledge, we will stand before you one day and you ask us, who are you? Father, what are we going to say? We can't say anything. Father, may you help us. As you are giving us this revelation, may we be able to walk in the light of the revelation. Amen. It's my prayer. This is my humble request. This is my humble cry. Grant it, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. Let this week be a week of blessings. Amen. Divine doors opening. Amen. And a week of revival. Yes. Lord. That we will be restored to the days of Pentecost. Yes, Lord. That the revival that went with the days of Pentecost will be seen in us. Amen. Burning, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. There's a land that is fair, brotherly. Amen. Amen.